Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for DC Rebirth Green Lanterns Issue 1. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Um, I will have all my in-depth reviews today posted, um, unless I have another pick of the week, then I'll have one more. Or have a pick of the week that's not reviewed, I'll have one more. Uh, and Comic Uno episodes should be up Saturday, if earlier, I'll let you guys know. Alright, but let's start talking about... DC Rebirth Green Lanterns issue one. So this is actually the issue one. Before it was just the one shot, get you used to this transition of Boz and Jessica being our main characters for, I would say the flagship um, Green Lantern title. Uh, so I loved uh, the Rebirth title. Uh, it was one of my favorite Rebirth titles so far. And let's see if issue one continues that stride. Uh, so cover is really well done. Uh, we have Jessica and Boz in, in the front there, and then the Red Lanterns looming in the background. Uh, love the artwork, and which is great, because in the Reaper title, I didn't love the artwork, so I'm glad I could say I really enjoyed the artwork here. I think there was more detail, and of course, what's important for Green Lantern, those bold colors. Uh, you know, colors you wouldn't think would collide, like red and green, like the, this shining red and green over there. Uh, love that. Um, so yeah, I thought the artwork was a big, a big improvement from uh, the rebirth, the rebirth special or one shot. Let's start talking about the story. So with the story, uh, we see again this continuation of Simon and Jessica trying to be friends, trying to work together. Uh, and, and what I love is that you get to see their two conflicting inner monologues. This is actually a great panel right there um, with their two eyes. Um, it gets a little hard to say, all right, who is talking here? Because their boxes are very similar. Uh, with Boz, it's a little bit darker uh, green. And then with Jessica, you have a lighter green. Uh, so it's a little harder there. Uh, and then they realize they, they have this mission and they, they have to figure out, oh, why is this guy going crazy? Uh, and then they find all these dead bodies. They call the police and the police is kind of laughing at Jessica and, and Boz because they're like, hey, like, where's the real Green Lanterns? Like, we don't want rookies for this. And like, we are the real Green Lanterns. Like, deal with it. Uh, and then you also see a little side note of uh, what Simon and um, Jessica's story is with their family, which is another aspect I really like about this book. So you see Jessica just like shopping in a supermarket and this is like her worst fear because she was like stuck in her house for three years and doesn't really like people. Uh, and I love this scene because I'm really excited to be between the sister and, um, and Jessica's relationship and see that sisterly bond. But what I like about it is Jessica's narration of the sister avoiding <laughs> Jessica's Green Lantern. Doesn't really want to talk about it. She, she slyly says, oh, and you know, it's, what does she say? She says, um, you're not dying, Jessica. You hid away from the world for too long. If you want to crash with me, ring or no ring, you have to face Erin. So she makes a joke about it. But they haven't officially talked about her being a Green Lantern, which honestly in a lot of stories, you, they usually just say, oh, there's not enough panel time to talk about this. Here, they're actually making it a story that, why aren't they talking about it? It's not her automatic acceptance of her being a Green Lantern. It's going to take time to actually have that great discussion. And, and this brings build up to an interesting um, relationship between her sister, who is her most important um, person in her life right now. Same goes for Simon, um, his, his uh, family, uh, what's going on with him being marked as a terrorist beforehand. Uh, so now he's trying to deal with life at this point and uh, family's like, no, you know, we'll deal with this, don't worry about it. Um, so now he's just, again, trying to find a name for himself and uh, dealing with being a Green Lantern still. And then he gets this massive vision, um, which is cool. It's a different kind of ability for a Green Lantern I've personally seen. Uh, and he sees what could happen to them in the future. I thought that was a really cool page right there. Um, and yeah, it's, again, it's just this looming idea of the Red Lanterns just being in their hometown uh, and affecting people. And uh, what is Jessica and Simon going to do? So I really like this arc. I love the idea of using the Red Lanterns in this way because I think with the Red Lanterns series, they never really knew what to do. Uh, with the Red Lanterns, and this is a really cool way to add them in Earth because they are part of the uh, Sector 2814. Uh, so it's nice to utilize them this way. And like I said, I think the most interesting aspect of this series is that grounded element that they are in Earth. They're not on space. And that's going to be the Hal Jordan Green Lantern Corps book. If you want the space adventures, that's what it is. But, you know, Green Lantern was also a superhero on Earth. 
You know, he he did that type of stuff. I think just recently he's kind of been going into space more often. So it's, it's good to have a book that's actually grounded but still has these space elements. Uh, so for me, I still loving this book. I can't wait to see where these relationships go. That's definitely my favorite part and what I think Humphreys does a great job at. Uh, so I'm going to give this solid four stars. Really, really enjoying Green Lanterns and I, I really could see this becoming one of my favorite series, especially from DC. So Green Lanterns issue one, the official issue one, gets four stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, scripture below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later.